Welcome back everybody. Welcome back for coming back to the vlog and today you know really what is it like here in wintertime for Canadians like myself. We live up in the north. We have a lot of snow and we have a lot of very extended periods of very cold weather. So what do we do as Canadians in the wintertime? Well I believe you make the best of it. There's no point in sitting around just waiting for summertime. Yeah you know, when summertime hits for sure we get hard. We get the cars, the Lambos, the Ferraris, the BMWs and we we really do enjoy the weather when the sun's shining, but the winter time there's other things you can do as well. And some of them you, you take the cars out occasionally, um, but largely here in Canada we do other things. Whether we enjoy winter sports or whether we enjoy modifying our cars. As a car guy, of course, you know we do a lot of that kind of stuff. And, and you know that you've seen some of my projects in the past, but I'm going to continue doing project work during the winter time. That's the best place to address some of those things. So as you know, right here, we have the decals. Now today I promised you guys that I was going to show you a demonstration. I was going to install this on my cars. As I'm going to plan on branding some of my vehicles. Now, put that for now. What I'm going to likely do here, we're going to go out there in a little bit. We're going to go out and we're going to smack this down on one of my cars. I've just got the one printed off for now. And I'm going to show you step by step how I do that, how I pre prepare this, how I apply it to the vehicle. But for now, let's go for a stroll and I'm going to show you what some of us Canadians like to do in between doing our car stuff, the stuff that we like to do and tinker and modify. Sometimes there's other things that we do. And a lot of you guys probably if you've seen me for a while you know that there's some things specifically regarding winter sports that I like to do. So come follow guys. Today I took my son out for his hockey practice and I'm going to show you that as well. Enjoy our other little trip. We have a game tonight that we got at Edmonton Oilers. Our professional hockey team is playing a game and I'm going to share with you a quick walk down to the rink and how I apply the stickers to the car. So there's certainly no shortage of ice out here guys, look at this! Well it's definitely frozen out here, but let's head down to the rink. We're going to go down, I'm taking my little guy to the skating rink and he's got a hockey practice so let's head down there first. That's one of your typical Canadian activities in the winter time, let's go! hockey game. So here we came to the Oilers and Carolina, Carolina. They're playing so we're gonna watch the Oilers destroy Carolina in this game here for sure. No questions asked but anyway let's head on to the seats and see what's going on. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. The Edmonton Oilers 
Unfortunately, Edmonton played Carolina. They got their butts handed to them. Sad day, of course, as an Edmontonian here. We like to see our team win. You know, we're Canadians. We're hardy people. And, you know, the, the hockey sport is one of our games. So, you know, obviously it was kind of sad to see Edmonton lose, of course. But that's okay. Now we get back to the car business. And so we have our logo here. And I promise you I would show you how I do this. So the steps are, first of all, I have my logo. It's been cut out. We already saw that from my last vlog. Now I use this great paper. This is a transfer paper, okay? You can buy these at a lot of these, you know, these vinyl type shops. They sell this a transfer paper. It's actually very low adhesive, so it's it's tacky but not really sticky. It's almost like that spray glue. It's very light. And so what you do is I'm going to lay this on the existing decal as it were. And I want to make sure it's all aligned and square. So I'm going to lay this out. I've got this transfer paper and I think my logo is just the right size. The strip width here is just perfect. So what I'm going to do is lay this out so it's square and it actually covers the entire decal. So, but I want it to be fairly square. I want this to whole, cover the whole thing. And I'm just going to lay this out just like this. Make sure it's all, there's no bubbles because bubbles will cause problems too as you go. So I'm going to lay that out like that. And, and then just do that. See, now it's ready to rock and roll. Now let's just give this a quick cut. Tear the rest. Now, this is the fun part. Now, what we do, you'll notice this comes off. And there we go, you see? Took a little bit of finessing, but now we have the logo here on our transfer paper. And I'm just gonna hang this and get it ready for movement. And then I'm gonna do the other one. Let's do the same thing. So there's the other one. So now I have two of these ready to go. And I'm gonna transfer them over to the Lamborghini now. Let's go take a look. All right, everybody, here we are. We've got a nice clean glass. I just cleaned the glass. That's the first thing you wanna do before you put any of these decals on. It's, boy, it's good to see this car again. It's been hiding for a while, obviously, with the winter out there. But let's get this logo on here and we'll call it a day. It's a little bit chilly out here in the garage, so I'm gonna slap this logo on. I'll show you how I do it. And we'll be good to go. And you tell me what you think when it's all said and done. All right, see, here we go again. We got the logo. Now, the key here, of course, is finding the sweet spot. Once you stick this down, it's gonna to wanna to grab and pull and then it might wreck your logo. You might have to redo it. I mean, that's happened to me a few times. So what I wanna do, I already know the logo is pretty square with the paper, with the transfer paper. So I'm just going to align the transfer paper edges with where I wanna align it on the car. And I'm gonna set it up so it's about, you know, the bottom edge is matching here from the, the window trim and the paper, the transfer paper. So I'm gonna start on one side, but I'm gonna set this down and kind of work my way back. Kind of wanna work one end to the other. And there we go, we're gonna do that. You wanna press it in really well. This is a small logo, so I can be a little bit sloppy. When you're doing a big decal like the one I did on the roof up there, you have to be a lot more methodical. You wanna make sure you work from one side to the other, center out, or whatever. I mean, there's techniques to get rid of the bubbles and that, but this is a small decal, so I can be a little bit sloppy on the way I put it on. But it's very easy to install, as you can see. So, I'm just gonna give it a little rub down. And now we're gonna peel her away.
you so much guys for stopping by the vlog today. I really hope you enjoyed what I had to show you today and I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. If you guys would be so kind as to hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell, that would really help me out a lot. That'll essentially help you to know when my next videos come out, which of course this is the vlog and it'll typically come out on every Wednesday. If you like general car content, about BMWs and Lambos and pretty much everything else under the sun, don't forget to subscribe anyway because I have videos throughout the rest, you know, the remainder of the week. So I really want to thank you guys. I appreciate it. You coming around and make sure you capture the next great video. And I hope to see you guys real soon. Mark here signing off.